Hi there. Pardon the time time interruption there. Uh, this is Ether Ape, and it's a way to check on your network connections in Ubuntu Linux. These on the screen are connections that your computer, which is here, makes, and each of them are different. This one, for instance, is an NTP server, which is Network Time Protocol. If you double-click it, you see that it uses the NTP protocol to communicate, which is Network Time Protocol. And it's a Network Time Protocol server, one of four that my computer communicates with via OpenNTP to keep my computer time synchronized to the atomic clock. Uh, this particular connection, if you double click it, you'll note it uses MSN protocol, which is the protocol for Microsoft compatible chat clients, and TCP, which is Transmission Control Protocol. If we go over here to my mail, and click the Get Mail button and jump back into Etherape. We'll see it checking pop3live.com and mailcmc.net for email. The broad end of the connection is the end that's sending the data to the other end. This is a domain name server, and so is this RIP2. These, of course, are their NTP servers. Here's one, there's three, one, zero, and two. One, two, zero, one, two, and three are the ones that it connects to. Now, if we start a web browser and go back into EtherApe. we'll see it start connecting to websites. All this red traffic is HTTP traffic. I have many tabs open in my web browser Firefox, so you see a lot of connections happening here. And there are connections like Google.com, which are made on behalf of many pages which feature Google Ads. Staggering how many connections your computer can make to the internet at one time, isn't it? All of the network, all of the different network protocols are color coded. These red ones are TCP and World Wide Web protocols in use by the web browser. Okay, let's shut down the web browser now and watch the connections die off.
You can see many ad servers in the connections that it made while the browser was on, like Google Syndication dot com, Google Ads, go double click dot net, page ads to Google Syndication dot com, ad double click dot net, and the sites you're actually trying to connect to, like Facebook and NASCAR. Here's some more Google sites. Safe browsing clients, google.com. That always connects if you have Google Ads on a site that you're on. But anyway, that's how to keep track of what you're connecting to on the Internet. I hope you've enjoyed the demonstration.